everybody. It's a beautiful day here in Northern Ireland today. This is April 11th. Well into the lockdown now. I'm out on my daily walk here for exercise and what a beautiful day it is. Sunshine, blue skies, warm. Temperatures today could get up around 15, 16 degrees. Just a gentle breeze. It's beautiful. Having a good walk here in the countryside. Beautiful fields. Uh, mowing their lawns, there's sheep, cows, birds are singing, really beautiful. Some of the flowers and the fallen are starting to come out. Uh, what I'm doing today is a little naked eye astronomy. As you can see, the sun is shining. But I actually was observing planet Venus in broad daylight today with the naked eye. How do you do that? Well, at the moment Venus is as far away from the sun, we know that because we can see it in the evening sky after sunsets, a very prominent object from all over the world, from anyone in the mid-northern latitudes. So it, it is at a far elongation from the sun. Astronomers call this distance from the sun elongation. It's an eastern elongation, which means it's to the left of the sun and hence visible in the evening sky. The, at the moment Venus is so bright, it's about magnitude minus 4.5, maybe a bit more. It's almost at its brightest. here using your hand you can measure distances in the sky as long as your hands at arm's length for example here there's an old abandoned building here behind me a fist at arm's length is 10 degrees three fingers at arm's length the tip of the three fingers is five degrees a thumb is approximately two degrees your uh, and the last finger and the largest digit is approximately 15 degrees and your thumb and little finger white spread is 20 degrees so Venus is 45 degrees to the east of the Sun which is the left I'll measure here that's 20 degrees 20 degrees and 5 degrees so it's approximately in this area here and all I have to do is block the Sun relax my eyes and I should see it as a white ball so why not give it a go it's really good fun remember to protect your eyes never stare at the Sun and never look at the Sun for any instrument it'll cause serious damage and probably blind you in later life so you don't want to do that protect your face from the sun using a, a building or a tree or your hand and look for the planet it's amazing it's quite a thrill quite a thrill to be able to do that to see venus with a naked eye in broad daylight it really is something special so something to do on these nice clear sunny days where you're in lockdown but of naked eye daylight astronomy also, I should mention, uh, yesterday, April 10th, we had our first thunderstorms of the spring season, which was pretty cool. I obviously couldn't chase because we were in lockdown, but we had uh, a low cape, relatively high shear, well, 20 knots deep layer shear set up, and several cells formed in the Midlands of Northern Ireland, one over the Sparrens, which produced some lightning, uh, several people heard the thunder from it, and another over the north coast which formed near Loch Foyle and actually ignited, sparked between uh, Derry, Stroke London Derry and Limbavati. Just torrential rainfall, hailstones, the cell actually evolved and became very well sheared. It actually looked like almost like a weak miniature supercell on the radar and lasted quite some time. Just a lot of lightning as it moved over core rain and torrential rainfall and then eventually over the sea itself. So it was quite a cell. I didn't miss anything structure wise, there wasn't really any photography to be had because these were elevated cells, they were very very elevated, no structure visible and there was a lot of 
mid-level, low-level uh, cloud blocking the, the cell anyway. But it was still cool to see the first thunderstorms of the season. A bit of excitement, even just looking out the window, looking for something and watching the radar. It was good fun and checking the synoptics. So I'm going to get on my walk here. I see the buzzards circling around. It really is a beautiful day. So I hope you're all enjoying yourself and staying safe. And I'm going to try the negative Venus test today. Okay, see you later.